Hello everybody, Habich here, and I got some good news and some bad news today. Which one do you want to hear first? Well, you don't get to decide, so as we're loading up the world here, I'll just go ahead and tell you. The good news is, after recording yesterday, uh, I took some time over the evening and dumped off about 300 gigs worth of... Uh, accumulated videos from August and September that we're building up on the laptop. We got loads of space now. We're not going to have a, a video fail to record. And in conjunction with that, I also remember to plug in my headset for this video. So we're starting off really good in that regard. On the bad news side of the coin, I recalled, and I haven't gone back to watch, but I am 99.8% sure that we forgot to light the portal back at our new Havana Mineshaft kind of little elevator chill room. So before we do any of the um, portal linking, obviously, uh, we're going to have to go back and do that but i think that kind of helped make the decision from the last video for us which is uh since we're here and we're gonna have to you know redo the flight and all that and i've already taken off the wings and put them all away i think let's just go ahead and do some of the sort um try to get things squared away so we can uh Full inventory back. So those are all our goodies. Um, these go here. And I, I hope, you know, that the, the um, fortune picking of all of this stuff, that's going to be, a, you know, good news is we're going to get a ton of XP, we're going to repair all our tools, all that part will be awesome. Um, the tougher, wait, 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 yeah, no, that's right. Um, the tougher part will be uh, just running up and down the room. Alright, random stuff, random stuff, random stuff, and I'm put that down. Um, a little bit of dirt. Okay, then over here, man, I hope I brought the toolboxes. If I left those sitting over there, oh my. Did I put them upstairs, or do we have to go for this flight right now? You know what, buddy? You picked the wrong time. Well, I guess the good news is we're going to get to go relight our portal. Um, yeah, because I don't want to, I don't want to mess with any of the rest of that, but maybe that'll be our breakup. Let's do all of this random inventory sort. We won't do any of the ores or anything, but we can put all this junk away when we're fed up with storing stuff and dealing with all that. Then we'll... Uh, make a run. So we're looking for stuff that goes down here. Uh, we do have iron and spider eyes. I think that's all from that chest. Spider eyes. Strings and spider webs. Here. Lots of string. Anything else that comes down here? Slimes, of course. Flesh. Make everything else there. Haven't figured out yet what we're going to do with the rail stuff. I don't think. Yeah, unless I'm forgetting. I don't think we've ever established a little rail gear section. But we can do that. And iron. Kind of our intent on a lot of this stuff. 
These all do go downstairs. Let's pick up that box. Can we? I don't even know if we can combine. All right, let's just go upstairs and do this. Uh, yeah, what do we want to do with all the rail? I guess just put it into the, like, why would we? It, uh, so often I have that off to the side somewhere, right? And just kind of a. Um, a weird deal. I guess I need the boxes out. I definitely forgot to uh, <laughs> unload all of this stuff downstairs that I had in my possession. Oops. Nope. Uh, yeah, right there, right? We just took all the dirt out. I'm so so frustrated about it. All right. Teal box, you go, or light blue, whenever you go away. These two need to get placed. <coughs> wow. Stuff record cloveries wheat down here saddle oh no we're almost out <laughs> all that space how did I miss a record how am I so turned around. I don't mind keeping a little bit of horse stuff here, but clearly we reached a point where we need some more space. Now, funny enough, when we have a big old barn, this shouldn't be a problem, right? Guess that just retains it from the time we flip the nether rack. It's a frame attribute, not an item. The things you learn, right? All right. So we've still got our animal box. Now we have overflow chests for saddles and armor. Um, all the food and stuff, food stuffs, at some point we can move all those out to the food storage. Good little disc collection going on. Kind of crazy when you see how many mine carts we actually found <laughs> when you gather all those up. That's crazy. And the fact that they don't stack is uh, a little bit of a pain. I will confess, not the biggest fan, but what are you going to do? All right, so that should give us some space. These already had homes downstairs. 
I really wish, let's just do that. Um, get all the rest of this out. Planks. Extra arrows, treasury stuff. Pants that we can delete. Don't really need a flame book. Ooh, there we go. Oh. Um, a little bit better pants. Book can at least store up here. Be amongst its friends. Downstairs. I think this is going pretty quick. That was the hardest part. All the scattered randomness. Now we just unload those uh, boxes of dirt and stone and all that. Quick. Alright, we had. Uh, piece of netherrack. Now, let's. While we're here. We don't want a soul soil, we do want a soul sand, and we're going to want a... Right, what? Right. Uh, in stone. We put all our end stuff. Um, how did I put it down here? Okay. Good, 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 good. Now we'll re need to try to remember kelp, which we should have a bunch of. But now we do have stone. First time in a long time we have stone. <laughs> okay, empty box. That's good though, that's just that much quicker. I saw that 40 and was like, oh great, so now we got no stone left. Uh, let's do these. Diorite, Anzite, Gravel, bunch of stuff in there. Gravel, Gravel, Anzite, Gravel, nothing. Granite, Granite, Dirt. Ooh. Let's try. 
try to get these. We'll revisit the diorite, try to top off our shulker there. Starting out, let's leave that till the end. All gravel, deep slate, cobbled wood, might as well. Dirt, 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 nothing. Wait, are these the same? Oh, that's cobbled. All right, so then this was the deep slate. That's right. Remember when we were figuring out the orientation of all that stuff, and it was so crazy. All right, now I think we can just grab everything. Boop, 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 boop. Let's save those though. Just make sure we have space enough for everything else. Gravel. Uh, cobble is here. I'm assuming we don't have other mossy cobble anywhere. Might be wrong, but now, do I have? Dripstone set up anywhere yet? I'm guessing not. I'm guessing that's upstairs. And maybe that's a good place for it until or unless we get just a mass. Processed yet. And the tough. Okay, upstairs with those two. These are going back with us. We need a couple stacks, should be fine. Uh, so those make our water columns. We get good. Um, do we have signs handy here? I know we've got them back at the farm. Ha ha ha. Alright. It's XP, right? I still need to get up to that 33 level. Okay, so quick flight. spot for all right so what do, what are we oh we need did i leave dirt i don't know let's bring i hope grass will do it two pieces of dirt let's get out our wings And oh, we 
we had to do is get. There was our strata. I don't know why we couldn't see that very well last time. Not these mountains. But here's the. No, there's a plane. There we go. Not too bad, right? I've never even set up that other one yet. That's all right. We'll just leave all the supplies here. We don't have to have to do more than use our ladder for now. It was mainly the lighting of the portal that we needed to worry about. This is just an opportunity to uh, make good on a couple of those other things. I still hear Franny. That's good. How are you doing, Franny? So we had left a couple little things. So let's leave these, that, and then of course we need to do this and get these and put a torch here. <laughs> Is this so dark? Is that always that dark? Huh? Okay. That's what happens when you go back home. You're like, man. We were living like that? Yeah. All right. Those silos, awesome. Oh. I don't know how uh, how some people some people are such awesome pilots. I guess electricists. I don't know how they do it. I think it's amazing. Just like turn on the dime. Um, goodie box. Nothing in there. I think we're going to bring the toolbox downstairs. And I might as well top off the wings while we're doing everything else. But this was up here flint and steel. And we'll just keep everything else minimal because we're going to want lots of capacity for our fortune. And we're going to have to clear out more slime. to us here. We're sorting things out. Everything that can be repaired and needs repairs. Hi guys. It's not a total waste when we need to uh, do some of it anyway. All right. How do we want to approach stuff? I guess let's start with coal. And see if we can get
get some of these minor items repaired up first and leave the because the iron and the copper which we do want to forge and the gold we don't need to we should maybe when we get back up there when we start cooking that right or is that just the nether gold I don't think we get fortuned benefit from regular gold ore, do we? We'll check it again, but I'm pretty sure we've proven that time again. I just always confuse it with the nether. So even with just coal, the wings should repair up pretty quick. We barely used them. There we go. This pick get to as soon as I say that it hasn't moved the whole time coal is not the ideal of XP need to break a lot of it but again that wasn't our real goal our real goal with the coal was to get coal we want blocks and blocks and blocks we want to have the hoppers behind each of our four furnaces there just stocked up we want to have uh, our smaller furnaces upstairs topped off maybe with a supply in our regular chest and then any overflow just going into uh, to extra boxes. So let's put this away and we'll just temporarily stash the wings in there as well. Shovel up next. I'm not immediately tossing the slime balls away because we're going to keep seeing slime uh, once we have full stacks we'll just drop off the overflow so we're not losing inventory spots but so maybe here we get a shovel done then we're down to the axe and a couple picks and i'm hoping in the course of all the coal we can make a decent headway on uh, the repairs those picks are going to be tough though it's going to be like run after run after run after run of the coal and still just barely moving so we'll see If we can do all that then we should be pretty close to our final repair on this bow said when we get to the end of this episode maybe no matter how far we've gone there oh I forgot to do the gold remind me let's for science the gold when we get back and it's not quite done but close So we know iron and copper <coughs> excuse me are going to just give a one-to-one -one. and that's what i just want to check here so regular coal ore is good um so let's do a quick switcheroo. Well, actually, those. Mm -hmm. 
Those are going to all get pulled in. Yeah. The question is how much more? So we still got a few stacks. So let's not do gold just yet because we want to finish out all that cooking. So let's keep to our. I don't want to overfill so we don't have room to pick it all back up again. It's nice not to have to stop every time. Alright, so yeah. The glass that's in there should finish cooking up. Um, let's check. Just after we, we're right at uh, just 31 minutes, so just about halfway. So when... Uh, maybe when we've done all this regular coal, we'll check again. Hopefully that'll be it. If we see that the the furnaces go out, then we can obviously switch there. But hopefully they won't, because that could be a lot of extra time uh, where it's just running with nothing actually being processed in them. Shovel done. On to axe. Good news here is this isn't even really the XP part of our our gathering. We were much more focused on our uh, just supply. So while well, it's taken a while to repair out these tools, once we get into things like diamonds and emeralds and uh, redstone and all that would be pretty good. Uh, I think I would like to, though, hang on to the various types of blocks. So we have, have you know, a couple of each just for whatever. If we get a wild hair at some point down the road, we've got a deep slate variant of all the ores. I had done that in the last world, and while we never used them, uh, I like the visual reference, right? Hey, what did that, you know, I, I haven't seen a deep slate emerald. I, I don't think I have any anyway, but, you know, once we have one, if you're thinking about it like, oh, I'd like to decorate, is it worth going out and trying to find more of those? Would they be a cool accent? If you've got one to reference on hand, you can always just go check. So while I'm not a, I'm going to have one of every block type in my inventory um, the person, I, I think given enough time, whether it's hardcore or anything else, you, you can get to that just by playing the game and not, uh, not throwing everything away. And of course there's, you know, rarer than other blocks, but again, if you put yourself in the right situation, know know what you're looking for, you can get most anything. Uh, which raises a good question. Uh, feel free to comment. Uh, this is question of the day type stuff. What do you feel is the most difficult to acquire block in uh, Minecraft? 
Uh, I've got my opinions, but uh, I'd like to know. You know, it. We've done some of them, but things like a, a dragon's head, or the elytra, or um, maybe it's the uh, nether star. What what item do you feel it's the most difficult? Obviously, we went through building an entire farm to get tridents, and we got two of them now. Once you know, once we have that, but do you in your play consider that most difficult because you don't build the farm? I don't know. Just that's why I'm asking. So let me know in the comments what what do you uh, what do you find in your play? Is it the god apple? Uh, totally, you know, you just dependent on chance. You gotta you gotta go around those temples or look around to try to find some so uh, let me know what you think is the most difficult item all right our axe is coming along here again the, we're coming down to the wire i don't think we're gonna get it i think it's got a few more little jumps of Improvement. I don't think by the time we get to this wall here, we're quite done. No. Thought we can make some more logs here. That should. Uh, According to my calculations, work up. <laughs> Whatever. We got a lot better. All right. Like 40 and 64 are both divisible. What's going on, game? All right. So this is where we find out how much we got left. I could go around to the front and look, I realize. There we go. So, you know, they're all going to vary a little bit. We are still down into the hoppers. Our glass is coming along nice. About two stacks left. Might time out just about right with our uh, coal. couple more of these so also for the topics of comments if you guys want to uh, want some um what do you think of taking the little break to do the abandoned mine shaft i know i know we've we've got a villager set up for uh healing and that will be a good thing uh, but what else do we what else do we feel about kind of you know taking a, this detour it's it's not directly getting us advancements um, it's not specifically helping with our building project you know it's kind of it's benefit it, uh, been you know, very clear all the way along. It's been good for a lot of ways that uh, a huge one right now is right in front of us here. Getting all this coal is just going to make processing of stuff so much easier when we no longer have to worry about uh, fuel sources. So I'm happy about it. I wonder how long that's been going. Um, I guess we keep going quickest to slowest. Uh, I, I just like uh, so much more fun and, and, you know, still is than I'd ever anticipated when I was kind of like, yeah, let's go do some caving and get some coal and iron and all that kind of stuff and have it ready to go. Um, I hadn't anticipated because I, I don't think I'd really bothered in a long while to 
play with you know our netherited gear all you know totem and all that and go to an abandoned mine uh it had always been early game risky scary go slow be careful all that and not having the shulkers to just dump stuff into and come back and do this so i've had way more fun than i ever imagined when we were wrapping up the trident farm and i was like i we need to just go get some materials and you know have a supply run so i've really enjoyed it but i'm curious what uh what you folks think um do you enjoy that just that kind of freewheeling hey let's run and see where each of these corridors go and try to clear them out and bring them back and uh see what farms there are chests and all of that or uh are you are you kind of goal oriented hey we want to get back to a either a build or specifically working on something that's going to get us directly an advancement. And with the exception of stupidly sleeping, um, that was, I think that's my biggest regret, you know, not lighting the deal and uh, some of these back and forth items. Yeah. You know, we, you kind of wring your hands as a, uh, a bit of the YouTube lead in like, Oh, made such a mistake. Most of it, whatever. It's fine. You know, it's going to happen. You can't be a hundred percent efficient in a game all the time. Uh, the one chance that I really think slipped through our fingers was having played, you know, what the equivalent of a couple weeks of game time without sleeping and having the game primed to give us thunderstorms all the time. And, uh, then accidentally sleeping because the planes were uh, nighttime and we just happened out of bed and I was worried about the monsters more than um, the thunderstorm. So again, it's not the end of the world. Look, all you have to do is just not sleep and you'll get more. Um, but it does lend itself to either being in the nether or working underground or whatever. You know, if I if I'm here and I run up those stairs more often than not, I'm going to try to lay down in bed just to clear any mobs around because I don't want a creeper to roguely blow up and take out a farm or a silo side or something, you know, where you have to then do a bunch of repairs or imagine killing some of our pets or cows or chickens or anything, all that unthinkable. We don't want any of that to happen. So, Hey, there's a slimy up there. A little more XP for the taken. Getting there. And again, remember, this is just our just our coal supply. Now, one thing that we should maybe think about doing is setting up blast furnaces for this ore cooking uh, without any kind of automation because. The XP there is pretty good, and I, I'm never too sure if I'm getting, uh, if I'm losing that when we automate it. Um, you get more time, but uh, XP is nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> what happened to that slime? All right. We got blocks. Let's go over and or we have the potential for blocks. Okay. Two things. Let's check here first. We're not gonna cook any of that. I do want now that I've talked about it, I want to check the blast furnaces. We can make a bank of those now. And most importantly, I just want to get those loaded up and stash some coal there. Okay, now, is it iron or something? Iron and smooth stone, which I think we have some of and furnaces. So let's do blasters. 
Uh, do we have any cobble? We need iron. We can leave that down here. Um, up here. Oh, I didn't bring any of this stuff up. All right. Well, here, let's do this. Let's take all this down. So we need, I think I'm going to do four. According to my calculations is that, and then we need enough to make a bunch of those. to remember those to see how bad I do at that. I was concerned about getting that back in here. Okay. Cool. We still need a bunch. We still got a bunch. And just to be current, we are at 48 minutes. Um, Oh, I should have done some stuff to cook. Remind me of that. Come up to the end here. Maybe when we finish this pickaxe, we'll do a couple runs of various metals. little bit grindy but this is like a profit grindy right like if you can't can't get fired up to grind on xp and um what amount to powering blocks right you know there's a bunch of different fuel sources you know i i think the alternative to this being some kind of an automated uh bamboo farm is is pretty huge but I don't know. I, I even once you get get stacked up, I don't mind just going for a run in a cave every once in a while and, and going to see what the game has to offer. I feel like the move these days to automate all and have everything duped or above the nether or whatever. It's like, yeah, it's same same deal. And I, I don't want to go caving all the time. Certainly, I want to I want to do the big builds, and I know. 
when you do that, you have to set that stuff aside. But um, coming up on, I don't want to jinx anything, but you know, we've been here well over 150 episodes, and it once you get going, it, it's been a little while since you you really run through caves and all that. So nice to have a variety back. And we'll get a little, a little nether time after this. I think, you know, you guys saw as we flew over the top, we'll probably just extend out our um, path that goes out to the end, uh, the end strongholds uh, nether portal. And I was thinking about that, actually. I, I think what we'll do is... In right now, when you get up to that portal, you're right kind of at the stairway that goes up. And, you know, it's the Soul Sand Valley that we've kind of first gotten up out of the lava into. Um, and right now, you kind of go up the stairs and then turn left and keep going. And I think we'll just um, change the orientation of that so that that whole area is accessed by a stairway that just is an extension of that path, right? We just cut into the hill. It'll be fine, easy enough to do. So then we can continue a straight shot um, with the track itself on into the uh, distance. I, I don't know, what is it, maybe twice as far? It's not, not a huge distance by any means. set up well switch over get uh, some ores loaded let's do irons and not too worried about you know just for simplicity's sake not worrying about the uh, deep slate just yet. Let's get a little bit of food while we're at it. But yeah, um, you know, we can, we can get the scared villager going to get some, some golems coming and lava bleed them to death or whatever. But I think it is it's good to go through the process of getting the ore, building it up, and uh, I was worried there. Um, Working up to the point where you know you have developed your minds and, and all your area as well as you've been going. Um, keeps you it keeps you sharp for the combat. That's, that's something you gotta gotta practice a little bit. Uh, the farms are hugely powerful, especially if you're coming off an SMP or a, you know shared server space because everyone can benefit from them and especially in the servers where you know uh, you can be the most chill laid back server around but people are going to try to make nice houses and buildings and all that kind of stuff to make it worthwhile right you don't want to just live in a dirt hole in the ground when you got people on your server and they're like hey well what have you been doing as well? Well, I, uh, I dug two blocks down into the dirt, threw those pieces of dirt up above it, and uh, put a door in after I managed to chop down a tree. Otherwise, I, I kind of hide through the night. You know, it's like, uh, okay. Now, we have 
any chests, I doubt it. Any wood, not enough. Oh wait, goodie box. <laughs> so we're not gonna have actual automation here because again, I think, I think that may grab the XP from us. So let's just do a before and after here. All right, sound good. I'll put these back in before we lose them or they take up unnecessary space. And then I think if we do a couple runs of these, we can switch back over to coal because we'll have enough to, each time we come back, we can kind of check and switch out more loads. And before you know it, we'll have that double chest rocking with coal or coal, iron. So, it, if you've been trying to play hardcore and, you know, the other content creators I, I see hanging out here, not really talking to you guys. You guys have an amazing world. Some of you some of you are hardcore players, some of you aren't, but enjoy watching it, it seems. Um, you know, once you get to a certain point, you play the game however you want to. But I, I can imagine being a young player and having watched a lot of streams or, or YouTube and seeing how, you know, hardcore player starts out and the first thing they do is start setting up farms. And if you haven't learned the basics of the game, you're going to keep dying and dying. You know, but we've had death loops here and I've played a lot of hardcore um, over the years. So it's easy to get caught and frustrated. And I think it's good to show that you don't have to have massive farms. They're of great benefit. That's why we have a uh, creeper farm set up. It's why we have a now drown farm set up so that we can get some of those things that are tough to do uh, just through your normal gameplay. But while you're running around in iron armor trying to get set up, you don't have to feel that you need an iron farm just to progress in the game by the time you're ready for a beacon guess what you're gonna have plenty of iron if you just just go through the game right all right we got uh let's do a check halfway let's run another couple of these row Nice, we're getting a lot of bonus here. So this should... Finish that. Leave us with one pick to go, right? Then we start racking the layers. Layers? Levels. And those levels are going to be great. So we're going to keep one eye locked on the, the pick. It should go at some point along here, I hope. Because the last couple of ticks always seem to take the longest time. Now. Like I said, those last couple of ticks always seem to take the longest amount of time. Prove me wrong, game. Should be at the last tick now. Come on. Oh. Quick. Need more blocks. I 
guess that must be the blast furnace sound effect. I kind of like win. I, I kind of wish they had that as like underground cave more constantly. Um, it'd be kind of cool. All right. Cool. We're almost done with you. Oh, wait. How did. Oh, was that from the furnace? Shoot. Uh, well, uh, I guess it was good. We got it. Give me XP. Give me XP. Action. Action for the audience. Slow, many slimes. They're all over me. My shoes are getting all goopy. See. Slimes away. All right. So, yeah, that's something to bear in mind, but, I mean, we were at level 26 when we were doing all the repairs and not putting anything towards levels. So, out of those blast furnaces, not only did we fix the shovel, but the shovel, the pick, uh, we also got just under two levels, because we were about halfway through 26, as I recall. That's pretty good, uh, and that's why I, I opted to not automate. Uh, when you drop those things into the chest as far as i know that experience just kind of vanishes there's not much you can do about it so um it doesn't take that much for us to uh, do a little bit of extra cooking now when we get back up here we'll check the time again uh we may still have a little bit but i like to run upstairs and put two uh, two loads or whatever in the upstairs furnaces too, just so that we're maximizing our cooking. Maybe we'll throw some gold or something. I mean, I guess we got iron ready to go, so we may as well do that. But it can cook slow. It doesn't have to be a rush. And speeds us along. And we may well, we may well add another eight uh, once we have all this coal. Let's see how we kind of come out. One of the reasons why I wanted to do all this was to make sure that we had enough, so we didn't have to worry about torches and things like that. We just, you know, basically got like a big old coal chest somewhere that is stuffed with goodies all right while well, we got this open oh man we're already over uh never mind in the next episode we will run upstairs and load up a couple for those two furnaces with um iron as well to cook but for now i want to thank you guys for tuning in i hope you enjoyed uh the the little grind we took a little flight though we went back over set up our portal so that we can link it um in the next episode, I think we will go into the nether. We'll do some, you know, some balance of of processing along with um, nether building to extend out that walkway. And maybe, you know, just kind of bounce back and forth a little bit. Don't have to do either one and keep it fresh. So uh, stay tuned for that. Should be coming up here shortly. Until then, hope you guys enjoy. Take a nice little break between episodes. Uh, beautiful fall weather continues here, so I love getting outside through the midst of it. I uh, hope you guys do the same, and we'll see you back here whenever you are ready. Take care, all. Bye now.